Husbandos and waifus, what's going on? My name is Hermzar. Welcome to another reaction review of Shikamori is not just a cutie. Oh my god. First of all, for people who come to my streams, I wanted to apologize that things haven't been consistent on there. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, interruptions and things that I needed to take care of kept popping up. And honestly, at some point, there's nothing I can do about it. But regardless of that, uh, we're here. I, I'm I, All my audio settings are kind of out of whack because my cat likes to go on my desk and likes to chew on the knobs of my audio interface but regardless of that guys i'm excited for the um my i wish my wife who will protect me like shikamori so anyways guys let's hop into this reaction of this anime hey quit staring at my dead channel because about 70 percent of you guys are not subscribed and if you all need to survive this month, i think you should do so the best boy right there <laughs> why, why is she so jealous of the best friend bro Ooh, this is your chance. He's he, Bakugo is literally hinting, right? <laughs> hey, Shikamori. What a good friend, dude. <laughs> I mean, who else is he going to ask? <laughs> she's so adorable. I love how giddy she is, even though she's the super, super kakui one. Oh, man, this scene always impresses the hell out of me. It's so pretty. I also like very pink aesthetic stuff, like, even though, obviously, my room is very blue, but I, I do like the pink aesthetic. Imagine if I had a pink aesthetic. Do you know the Belle Delphine keyboard and the Belle Delphine mouse pad? I kind of want that. Not because Belle Delphine's my wife or anything. Man, that shit would have hit me right in the face, that ball. Dude, not that I like balls in my face or anything. I don't. Oh, he's so excited to see a movie. I wonder what mishaps are going to happen. <laughs> I'm sure it's not a big deal for her, but I understand how he feels. He wants to like, he, he just wants to be a reliable, a reliable boyfriend. Damn, Matt's really preparing. I get it. I get it. <laughs> That's a hiking backpack. <laughs> I heard this is the dad. Uh, she's preparing too. She's excited. Oh, she looks so cute with glasses. Your date outfit is your battle uniform. Dude, she's so organized. I wish I was fucking organized. That is such a nice fit. <laughs> that is a beautiful fit right there. Oh, that's a beautiful fit as well. Wow, that's good too, actually. I like that one. Oh, she looks so cool. I think the first outfit was probably my favorite. Oh, it's her, her brother. He's so cool too. And why is her brother? Is her brother going to be a very picky brother? He's a supportive big brother. Dude, I don't I don't know about you guys. Like, my sister and me, we're very open with each other. I'm like, I need, I'm going on a date. Help! Help me! <laughs> or like, or like when I'm at, like, let's say, I remember a long time ago at the library, uh, at school, like, hey, hey, Ate, which is like big sister in Tagalog. And I'm like, hey, Ate, like, there's this really cute girl, like, sitting across and I really want to talk to her. But I'm, uh, but I'm too scared! <laughs> Where's his bag of goodies? <laughs> Dude, he's always helping people. Oh no! Truckoon's coming! Oh, look how adorable! She looks so cute. She's so shiny! Oh, <laughs> God, man. You know, there's, there's not even any S tension. It's mostly just like cute tension. Is that what it is? <laughs> Are they gonna pull all the stops? <laughs> you gotta make it happen, Izumi! He's excited to kissy kiss. God, I hate how cute they are together. God damn it. They make they make relationships look so perfect, man. <laughs> Jeans of soul. Good job, Izumi. Good job. Putting, putting his foot down like, so you choose. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> so who the fuck is Frank? Just be frank with me. What if she doesn't want to be Frank? <laughs> A scary movie? Red Balloon? Hey, isn't that, uh, what's that one fucking movie? Prepare to be traumatized. <laughs> Prepare to be traumatized. A lot of people are like that. I don't know, man. I, to to be fair, I'm very bad with horror things. Especially Miracle-chan, man. That shit scared the hell out of me. These are great opportunities. Yeah. <laughs> he looks so kakui. Dude, I really like that coat he's wearing. 
Who the fuck? Who the fuck chases a balloon? <laughs> Yo. Why is why is this it guy shaped like me? <laughs> oh, she's so cool, but I'd be so embarrassed. <laughs> Dude, they're they're unprotected hand holding. They gotta be careful with that type of stuff. It's very dangerous. Ooh, that looks so good. Very cool. Wow, so cool. Oh my god, how did you lose this wallet again? You gotta use a chain, Azumi. Dude, I feel him though, dude. That's that's hella misfortune. So that is his dad. Let's go! Big boys rock! Father and mother. <laughs> what? His dad's like, again? <laughs> wow, his parents are not surprised, dude. Why is he so unlucky? Dude, what's, what's a port of parents? Hog parents. Oh, spaghetti! Dude, they must got some mom's spaghetti. They got chicken karage too, and egg. <laughs> it's his mom unlucky too. <laughs> the mom's spaghetti. <laughs> they just keep filling up her plate. Wow. Has it been a long time? Wait, where's her parents? He'd be like, yeah, pull up. Dude, how how do they got how do they got time for dessert, dude? I would be usually I never have time for a uh, room for dessert. So cute! Look at you flirting in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Food coma. Dude, they probably put some MSG on there. <laughs> Girlfriend brag. <laughs> Yo, his mom though! She wants to, you know you want to. Dude, luckily, I have no, Im well, actually, no, I take that back. There are some embarrassing, I, I have an embarrassing middle school picture of me mooning the camera, just, you know. Because I was like, I was like, full send it, bro. Could I ask you something? <laughs> yeah, he, he's full suited up. <laughs> I'll be fine, mom. I just got all these scrapes and shit on me. <laughs> Acclamation is an amazing thing. What? Why is there a tree on his head? <laughs> I wonder where he gets it from. Oh my god. Oh dude, she's just hitting she's she's hitting my Kokoro right now. I think being so unlucky unlucky is what makes him so kind. Dude, someone that someone that can look at you despite all of your misfortunes and always look at the positives. Oh my god. Yeah, he's more concerned about other people. He's such a good guy. She's like, wow. I <laughs> wish you were my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> the dad is funny as hell. <laughs> we we boxing. I'm I'm sure the dad is the is the, the one that protects the the mom. <laughs> I'm sure he protects Izumi's mom. So of course they they would be on the same same wavelength. She'd be like, wow, my son is, has become so cool. Aww. Yeah, I just, I'm going to Photoshop myself over that, that old man's face. <laughs> His dad's face. I guess, like, stories about friendship. Man, he, he must love friendship anime. A new buddy film. Whatever that means. Personally, this is the ending of the season for me. It's a really good uh, song. Motoko-san. Which one's a Motoko? <laughs> I feel like... Shikimori is if what if Calliope became my girlfriend. <laughs> what a great fucking anime, man. This was a really, really good episode. Just a date episode going to the movies. It's always like what misfortunes will come and how will that make Shikimori look cool as hell? I hope and there's always like a moment where there's going to be some tragedy where it's painful for both. And I don't I don't want that. I just want continuous good feelings with this anime which i'm sure we're going to get that's at least that's the vibes that i'm getting from this this is fruit basket but definitely some awesome vibes from this episode just how shikimori looks at izumi and all of his mishaps as somewhat of a positive thing because she sees that because of those mishaps he's been able to do this he's been able to feel this he knows things better than other people and he's able to empathize with people when they're going through certain situations so 
I really, really like that about her. She, she's honestly killing it right now. <laughs> she's killing it in the waifu game. Definitely worthy and so fucking cool. I wish my wife would protect me like that, but I'm the one always doing the protecting. Save me from getting isekai by Trakun. Of course, his mom would be worried about Izumi. Izumi's always, they're both very unfortunate, but shit, I would protect the hell out of Izumi's mom. I'm, I mean, I'm shaped like the dad and I'm assuming like the dad also has the same protection vibes that Shikimori has, so. But he's also very funny too he has these one one-liners that just fucking kill me he just shows up unexpectedly nonetheless man this was a this was a fantastic episode it just makes me like shikimori the more and more that we watch this anime it just makes me wish someone existed like that you always hit me on my line, baby.